I'm Richard Robinson for Petsy Farm from Market Drayton in Shropshire. We started farming back at Litchfield in 67, my parents did. And then about four years ago, we had the opportunity to buy over here. And we brought, brought the dairy herd with the 200 cows from Litchfield we brought over here. We're milking 150 in this building now, and we're hoping to double up to 300 cows. Robots have always been on the back burner. We've always thought about it. Uh, I, myself, I wouldn't milk. I'd sooner feed them, go around and feed them all and everything. So robots seem the logical choice, especially starting afresh in a new shed. The installation with the robots was simple enough to install because you dropped them in place. We had a good fitted, fitted robots before, so he knew what he was doing when he came to put ours in. They got as much pipe work ready as they could and they, they were very comfortable around us. They worked with us when we had to do other stuff here as well. So we're, we're milking 150 on three robots currently um, and then starting in a couple of weeks, going to start the second shed, uh, which will have another three robots in of 150 cows. So total milking 300 on this site in two sheds. When we were first looking at robots, people said, oh, you can't, you can't see your lame cows, you can't see your mastitis cows like you can in a parlour. But to argue that, you do, because the first thing you know there's something wrong with a cow, be it lameness, mastitis or ketosis or anything, is they don't come to the robot. If you have to fetch a cow, but you don't ever have to fetch normally, there's something up with her. When she does go in the robot, it will tell you milk yields, deviations in milk yield, deviations in conductivity, all sorts of little bits of information you can pull up to find any issues with the cows. Since we've been on robots, the cows have been a lot calmer. You can walk amongst them. They're not used to being herded now. So we do all our jobs amongst the cows. You can pick a cow out of the herd and bring her to the robot on her own without bringing half the herd with you. Daily operation is a lot easier. It's not the same as physical labor all the time. It's a different kind of work. It's more computer work, more management all day than physical labour of putting units on cows. Since we've been on the robots, the welfare of the cows have been far better with far better feet, far less mastitis, and the cows are able to go in when they want and the yield has increased because of that. It's a lot easier, you don't have to wake up at four in the morning. We used to start milking at half past four uh, now on the old farm. I get here about seven o'clock and start feeding around. Um, Dad and my brother are normally scraping up and feeding the calves and everything's sort of done by half nine. So you're not tied to coming back in the afternoon, you're not tied to three o'clock to start milking again. You can be finished for four o'clock if you want, to, if you need to go off somewhere. So it's, there's a lot more flexibility and a lot better work-life balance with the robots compared to a parlour. <laughs>